Well, we went from a drought year situation where we were worried that we wouldn't even be able to refill the reservoirs in the Payette to, you know, literally a week later getting a record rain event come at us. And not just uh, one rain event, but uh, really two of them back to back. So uh, we knew we had a, a what was going to look like a pretty good flood on our hands downstream. And so the, the goal there at Cascade was to hold releases back as long as we could. And after we saw the peak flows downstream, uh, peak out and start to recede, that was our cue to, to start increasing discharges out of Cascade, and all the while keeping a close eye on the downstream conditions and making sure that those releases were not going to you know, cause new problems anywhere. Well, that's, that's just a, a humbling sight. I mean, that is an awesome display of power. Uh, you know, you look down into that thing and it, to just, you know, see that water, it's so awesome to see that water, you know, flying up in the air. Well, it is a, a balancing act that we have to perform uh, every spring runoff season, especially near the end, uh, you know, refilling the reservoir and at the same time maintaining the ability to handle a late season rainstorm like this. And when it's a record type event that comes at us this late, it can be quite challenging. In this case, uh, the reservoir you know, basically did its job. It stored inflows, uh, and we were able to hold back releases while the downstream channels were, were flooding from the tributaries. And we had a lot of tourists, it, it became a tourist attraction, really. And had a lot of people stopping on the dam uh, road on their, with their cars and, and a lot of foot traffic on the access road just trying to get a closer view. Uh, in fact, uh, we closed the, the road to uh, motor vehicles just from a public safety uh, standpoint while that was occurring.